good sound start with the instrument and with the player. Um, please spend money on your acoustic guitar. Okay? Change the strings. Take it to a proper guitar dude, get it set up. If you come or if you want to record seriously, there's nothing worse than doing a killer take and realizing your guitar is completely completely out of tune. You not, might, might not be able to realise it when you're playing it, but on, on the playback, when you're listening back, it might become very obvious. Um, so, you know, don't go spending money on microphones. You know, you can, for demos, you can, you know, you can buy a great condenser mic for like 500 bucks these days. A great little channel strip for, also for about 500 bucks. A great sound card for maybe about a grand. So, but if you have the world's most out of tune guitar, it's always going to sound out of tune. Okay? So I would say spend money on your instruments and then you'll get a good sound. I had um, earlier this year, Rave Mag asked me to write, they did these little snippet columns every now and again, and they asked me to write one on how to record a killer vocal take. And they're pretty much the same question is what should a home recorder buy to do that, etc. And pretty much what Emerson said, my, my column consisted of sing a killer vocal tape. So, you know, it's like, what I'm trying to say is, it's, it, is it isn't about the equipment, and, and there is equipment that you can buy that, you know, the noise floor's really low, it's, it sounds okay, you know, for 500 bucks or even less. Buy that and focus on getting a great performance there. That's right, recording is the easy bit. You just press a button. The hard bit is you guys, you actually have to perform, you have to play, you have to play, you know?